Done. Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children. We're coming to the end of day two here at El Riggs Drug Discovery 2024. And I'm delighted to catch up with my good friend and colleague, because we are working together on a podcast, Miles Radcliffe from Work.Community. So tell us more about what they're doing, one here, what they're doing in terms of their upcoming event. Tell us about the podcast, but before we do that, Miles, it's lovely to see you. How's um, Drug Discovery 24 gone for you? Do you know, it's been a fantastic couple of days. There's been several thousand people through the door. For those who don't know that I do a little bit with Elric as well, it's just such a good opportunity to meet technologies and about data science as always. So hats off for the team and everybody for coming along for that. And we're playing a small part in that by bringing what we do, which is the work community, so the organoid and organ on a chip community, to the Elric Drug Discovery event. We've had our own talks, we've had AstraZeneca talking about their drug discovery workflow through to translational medicine. They've heard about new technologies. They've heard about the University of Oslo with their new technology as well, we're very excited about. Frontalising organs and chip with mass spec. So it's been a fantastic couple of days. My voice is nearly gone. We've talked to that many people. Um, and it's all building up to our main event, which is next year in February in Cambridge which is the couple of days just dedicated for all these lovely organoid and organoid chip researchers in Cambridge at their Wellcome Trust Centre. And there's about 500 people coming along, 35 technology providers, all within this space to get these conversations as community going. And Rizwan, thank you for coming along. I just want to say thank you, Phil. Yesterday we launched our second podcast, our second episode, which Rizwan is one of the co-hosts with Mariana Croft de Julio, University of Bern, and Stephen Wilson, professor at University of Oslo. And we had a special guest there, Professor Thomas Harton, um, talking about wonderful things, ethics of organoids, organoid intelligence. I listened back to this podcast on Tuesday evening. Oh my word, we expect it's about 40 minutes, but it's about nearly an hour and a half. But you can dip into it, dip out, but there was so much great, relevant content going on. And to hear these guys come to life and talk about the ins and outs of it is a fantastic. So, so pleased with that's going. So thank you very much for helping well, us no, as well. It's a pleasure, but thank you for letting me host it, because it is a really interesting subject. Even for a layperson like me, who's a non-scientist, to, to hear what they're talking about is quite amazing. It's really interesting stuff. So there you go, viewers. If you are even vaguely interested in organoids and organs on a chip, then... One, sign up to the work.com uh, community, learn more about them, attend the event, and also, if you want a taste of what it's all about, subscribe to the podcast, listen to it, and then you'll be amazed like I am at what the hell is going on these days around that development, and maybe then you'd like to come to the event in February as well. Miles, genuinely, it's always lovely to see you, my friend. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to work in this very interesting area. I really do enjoy it. And viewers, I, as I said, if you're involved in any shape or form around this space, then check out the podcast and check out the website. There's some great content there. And hopefully I'll see you in person as well in February. So Mars, lovely to see you again, my friend. And viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.